Stan Gibalisco here. I'm going to show you what nonlinearity in an amplifier circuit looks like from a technical point of view. Uh, and I'm just going to use one type of amplifier as an example. This uh, is a, an amplifier that uses an n-channel junction field effect transistor. And we're graphing here the relative drain current versus the uh, actual gate voltage. And um, a junction field effect transistor or JFET generally uh, has a, if it's an n-channel device, it has a fairly large positive voltage applied to the drain and uh, rather smaller voltages applied to the gate that can be either positive or negative. Uh, if you vary the gate voltage on a device like this with a constant drain voltage, you will get a drain current that follows a function that looks like this. Uh, if the gate voltage is negative enough, you won't get any drain current at all, and that's called a state of pinch-off. The pinch-off point, that is the uh, smallest negative voltage at which uh, no current will flow in the drain, or the point at which current starts to flow as you reduce the negative gate voltage, or make it more positive in general, then that is the pinch-off point, and you begin to get current in the drain and for a while the current in the drain increases in a linear manner that is according to a straight line function in direct proportion to the negative gate voltage up to a certain point right about here this range shown as X actually it's pretty much this entire straight line region uh, is considered the linear operation uh, bias zone or something to that effect in the n-channel JFET. Similar uh, characteristics apply to p-channel junction field effect transistors uh, and other types of field effect transistors such as metal oxide semiconductor types and similar curves also apply to bipolar transistors either PNP or NPN. I just had to pick one example out of the hat that I'm not wearing and the hat that I'm not wearing happened to have a, uh, an n-channel junction field effect transistor in it. So I pulled it out. If you get too much positive voltage at the gate, though, and this is assuming no signal input, all of these points assume no signal input, then the relative drain current starts to increase at a slower and slower rate until it reaches a maximum. And then if you apply still more positive voltage to the gate it will actually begin to bleed some of the current off uh, into the gate rather than letting it get to the drain and that's that actually degrades the amplification the most amplification is right here at this top point but that's not the point where you're going to get the best linearity. Anywhere where this uh, graph is not a straight line slanting upward is a indicates non-linearity in the amplifier and when you apply a signal to the gate you in effect cause the signal voltage to go up and down along this graph somewhere. It might go up and down from here to here, or from here to here, or from here all the way up to the peak, or even beyond the peak. But whenever that signal causes the current uh, as it goes up and down, back and forth, according to the whatever waveform the input signal has, if at any point uh, you get into the nonlinear portion of the curve that is past pinch off or into this curved or downward sliding part 
then you have non-linearity in an ampli in your amplifier now that's not necessarily a bad thing in some radio frequency amplifiers uh, non-linearity of the input waveform itself is perfectly acceptable uh, uh, for example a class uh, C radio frequency amplifier is actually biased uh, under no signal conditions past the pinch off point somewhere down here and only during a, a fraction of the cycle does that uh, drain current actually flow you get a very decidedly non-linear relationship between the input and the output yet it, for radio frequency purposes as long as you have a continuous amplitude and you don't try to amplitude modulate your signal in any form you're just fine but if you want high fidelity audio or good quality amplitude modulation on your signal either single sideband double sideband or plain old AM if you want an amplifier that will uh, create an undistorted audio output on your signal you have to make sure that you never get into the nonlinear portion of the curve at any point in the radio frequency input wave cycle. That, uh, if you do get into this nonlinear portion, you have nonlinearity in your amplifier. That can be a bad thing for audio frequency amplifiers, especially high fidelity audio, an absolutely horrible state of affairs for hi-fi audio and not a good state of affairs for any amplitude modulated radio frequency signal either in general uh, in some cases it works all right uh, for radio frequency purposes in other cases it does not uh, but in any case audio uh, you have a bad time if you get out of this linear range and into the nonlinear range. So, uh, in a nutshell, which is another name for my skull, that is a general concept of nonlinearity in an amplifier. Whenever you get uh, into the gate voltage versus drain current or I should say drain current versus gate voltage function whenever you get into anything except this straight line portion you have non-linearity because the graph is non-linear it's not a straight line uh, hope you understand it better now and not worse Stan Jibalisco signing off until next time so long.